Good morning, church. Want to welcome you all to the Antioch Seventh day Adventist Church, a special program by Hilltop Christian School. Can you say amen to that? Amen. You know what? How about we dive into the word first thing this morning? And uh, if you have a Pew Bible in front of you, you could turn to page 528, the Black Pew Bible, and you will find Psalm 28 there. And I'd like to read it together with you as we uh, move into worship. Page 528, the Bible says, and let's read it together, amen? amen? Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with the song, I will praise him. Let us... Uh, Praise him this morning with our hearts, with our voices, and uh, with our actions. And uh, let's welcome each other to church right now as well. So if you can find somebody, make a friend, see an old friend, let's welcome each other to the church this morning. As we find our ways back to our seat, let's, pre, let's begin to sing our opening song, Blessed Be the Tithe is Mine, and a hymnal, hymn 305. So we stand all together now. Blessed be the tithe that bind our hearts in Christian love, the fellowship. Before our Father's throne, we pour our prayers, our fears, our hopes, our aims, our want of comfort, and our cares. Gracious Father in heaven, bind us together with your love this morning. We ask your presence here this morning. May we enjoy a double dose of your Holy Spirit as we worship together on this Sabbath day. We praise you, Lord, for who you are, and we thank you for all you've done. And we pray now, Lord, that as a result of us gathering here together on this morning, that we will be drawn closer and closer to Jesus Christ, our Savior, and it's in his name which we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
Let's have the children come forward while teacher Tanya Greenwood is making her way up. Apparently, I have a ton of helpers. Ex excuse me, expert helpers. Um, you're not supposed to wear them. You're supposed to be putting them on the display. I brought one of my collections this morning. In fact, this morning I had to choose what to bring. Um, let's see, any of you here in my class yet? No, you're going to be next year. Do you guys any, have any idea what collection I might have brought from my house this morning? Watches. watches? Yeah. I brought some of my watches. Is my display ready? No? Okay. <clears throat> Well, while they're preparing my display, I have to tell you something. It's kind of funny that I collect watches. Where's my boss? I am kind of unpunctual. Yes, it is a word. I looked it up last night in the thesaurus. It means late. Usually about mm, five. 10 or so minutes late. I was telling my dad last night about this story and he started laughing. He laughed so hard. He said, Tanya, you got this from your mother. That's why we used to take two cars to church every week when you were little. And I laughed too because at our house, Mr. Greenwood is standing there like this. Tanya, we're going to be late. You better hurry up. And so now he got wise in his old years. Where is he? Oh, yeah. He now tells me 15 minutes before we are supposed to leave, when we're supposed to leave, even though I know it's true and calculate that time difference. But I mean, oh, my display is ready. I know, isn't it awesome? Look at all these cool watches. I have a dog watch. I have a seahorse watch. I have a donut watch. I have a watch that has flowers on it. This one right here was given to me that, by that girl in the white dress. Another dog watch. One that says, oh, this is my favorite. I wear this one all the time. Whatever, I'm late anyway. And all the numbers have fallen off. That's my favorite. Or the one that says, I will not be late. I will not be late. I will not be late. And you know what? I'm still late anyway. It seems at this time of the year, everyone is in a hurry. Some of these people up here are in a hurry for school to get over with. Some teachers might be in a hurry for school to get over with. Some of you guys are in a hurry for school to start again because you might be in first grade or kindergarten. Some people might be in a hurry because they know that this summer they're going to be going on vacation. I know that somebody, at least one person up here, is going to Las Vegas this summer. Some people might be going to Disneyland this summer. Ooh. Some people might be going to some other perfect fun places. You're going to some fun place this summer? You don't know, but I bet you it's going to be fun. Where are you going? Cruise. Oh, those are lots and lots of fun. But you know what? Regardless of the time we think, how we think time should go, the Bible tells us that God makes everything perfect in his time. It doesn't always go in our time. Things don't always work out exactly how we want them to go. 
It doesn't happen when we want it to happen. It happens when God knows that it's best for it to happen for us. So sometimes we have to wait for things to happen when we wish it would hurry up. And sometimes we have to be patient and wait for something that we wish God would hurry up because we pray and pray and we wish he'd hurry up and do something for us. But we have to be patient and wait for God. But guess what? With God's time, it's always, always perfect time. You can go back to your seats. Just a, a quick announcement, and then uh, we have an, an action that needs to be taken this morning while we um, call Sister Liddy up here in just a moment to talk about one of our very, very important ministries of our church, an exciting one as well. Um, but the uh, elders meeting that was going to happen today has been rescheduled for June 3rd, the after church, after worship service on June 3rd. And, then, and you'll see in the bulletin, and I invite you to read the bulletin later on, and Take a look at all the things that are going on. But our nominating committee, now we have to have a second reading for a nominating committee, so we will need a vote for that. If we have a motion to approve the nominating committee. We have a motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? All right. All right. All in favor of, uh, of assigning these people that are listed in our bulletin to our nominating committee, please raise your hands. Any opposed? So moved. Um, thank you for that, and, uh, and the committee is already in session and working, and uh, we uh, really appreciate the team as well as the leadership of Grace Polite, who has been elected as the chairperson. So if you have any nominating committee questions, please direct them to Grace during this time, all right? Lydia, come share with us. Okay, so we don't have sound on the video that's being played right now. the video. Christy, are you able to put the video on with the sound? Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. I have good news today. What you saw on the screen is a preview. You didn't get the words that go with the video, but that's okay. It gives you an idea of what's coming ahead for this summer. It's Cactusville VBS brought out by the NAD, the Adventist Church. I am so excited that this is the VBS program that we'll be having this summer. This is the funnest outreach that a church can provide, correct? 
Yes, yes. And I just want to give you another preview of what's ahead for us. Can we all just say yee-haw? All right, so now that we know how to say yee-haw, can you lift your arm and say yee-haw? Yee-haw. All right, so now we did yee-haw. Let's use it, let's say it again with our VBS voice. And we know that our church can get loud with the kids, right? All right, so one, two, three. Yee-haw! I love it, I love it. Our church is going to be filled with kids. How many kids do we prepare for every year? 100 kids. How many volunteers does it take? 60, six, zero. And I, my last question to you is, are we ever short of volunteers? No, we are never short. I want to thank you right now, church family, for volunteering. In your bulletin, you have the help wanted. Go ahead and say yes. I want to volunteer. All I need is your name and your cell phone number. Either myself or Shalina will be calling you and we will get you on board. Let me tell you a little bit about VBS. You know how every day we have a different Bible text that the kids will learn? So through the five days, they have five different Bible verses. This year, the kids are going to memorize one verse with each day getting a new section of the Bible text. That is pretty cool. Repetition and then just having it engraved in their hearts and their minds. The Bible text for this year is 2 Timothy 1 verse 9, and I want to read it to you. And as we prepare our church for VBS, this is so appropriate for all of us. Jesus, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which has given us in Christ Jesus before time began, that we have a purpose, and our purpose this summer is to prepare ourselves for Vacation Bible School, right? But then our purpose in life is that we belong to the family of God. Daily calling. Cactusville will be a town where kids will know that they have a calling there's a purpose for their life. They belong and that they're accepted. What will they take from VBS? That they can shine their light for Jesus. Can I get a yeehaw for that? Yeehaw. That we, they can also witness and share their love for God. They can stand confident knowing that they belong to the family of God and that they too will want others to shine that same light. Can I get a big yee-haw? Yee-haw! All right, so I know it's Sabbath and we shouldn't be playing games. Well, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the adults yell yee-haw in the count of three, okay? Only the adults, and let's see who's louder, the adults or the kids. Kids, you'll have your chance too. All adults on the count of three, one, Two, three. Yee-haw! Was that pretty good, kids? No. All right, you show them how to do it on the count of three. Only the kids. One, two, three. Yee-haw! That's what we're talking about. I need two things today. I just need two things today. I need volunteers, and I need you to sign up. Adults, this question is for you. How many of you have volunteered at any of our VBSs? Raise your hand. Kids, look around. Raise your hand really high. Kids, look around. Can we get a yeehaw for the adults? Yeehaw! All right, kids, this question is for you now. How many of you have come to VBS? Raise your hand. Let's see your hands really high. I know some of them are short. Yeah. All right, adults, let's give them a yee-haw. yee-haw. 
We did hear this song. The song was playing while the video was on, but I'm going to ask for just a few seconds. Messaging is really important. Where are kids getting their influences today? Name something. TV, what else? Cell phone, social media, internet. Okay. How about we give the positive message right here in our church? I'm going to have you listen to the song. Think of some key words that you're hearing as a positive message. This is a theme song for this year's VBS. Go ahead. Track one. Turn it up. So what are, the, what are some of the positives that you heard in the song? Chosen, saved, what else? Purpose, special. There are some very positive things that's going to happen this summer. Kids, I am inviting you now in the back for you parents after church, stop by our VBS booth. We're taking registrations now. You know how Monday night, everybody's registering at one time? This year, we're trying to get everybody registered, so Monday night is more of a sign-in instead of a registration just to help. So take advantage. Meet us in the back. Fill out the registration, card, um, the registration sheet for your family. And for those that are 13 and over, I want to see your name. Fill out the card that you will sign up and help, and you can also drop that in our box. I look forward to seeing all of you at Vacation Bible School this summer. I will be reading from Psalms chapter 33, 1 through 5. And this is the King James Version. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with your harp. Sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud voice or loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Come to the time in our program for our congregational prayer. So I invite all those who are able to kneel to do so at this time. If you have a special request that you'd like to bring to the feet of Jesus, I invite you to do that now. Our Father in heaven, we come before you on this Sabbath morning, and we come with, before you with humble and thankful hearts. We also come before you because you are worthy to be praised. And this morning, we have petitions and requests that we want to bring before you. Father, we pray for our, our country and our leaders in our country. Father, there's so much turmoil that we see. We just got to turn on the television and we can see things that are happening in our country, in our world around us. And we know that with all of that, we know that your soon second coming is near. And so, Father, we pray for our country. We pray for the leaders um, 
of this country. Father, this morning we want to lift up some families and individuals in prayer. We want to remember Gilbert and Evelyn Allen, uh, Meville Arujo's parents, as they travel to and from the Philippines. We pray for traveling mercies. We also want to pray for Susanna Bellingit, a friend of Yorick, as she is ill. Father, we also want to lift up Carol Mandagi and his family as, as they mourn the death of the, his brother-in-law. We want to lift up Kamala Singh as she has been written, has, has a prayer request. We don't know what that is, but Father, we know that you know all. And so, Father, we just lift up that uh, individual in prayer this morning. We also want to remember Kyla as she'll be having surgery. We want to remember those around our world that are suffering persecution, um, religious liberty. We want to remember those who are starving around our world. Here in our local church, we want to remember our leadership and um, those who are leading out in our different offices. And uh, we also want to remember our pathfinders who are away this weekend that uh, you may be with them and keep them safe. And Father, we have those who have come to the, the foot of the cross this morning. We don't know the different burdens and things that have happened or are continuing to go on, but Father, we lift them all up to you in prayer. We ask that you please be with our program this morning as our school will be leading out. Bless the children and bless those who will be leading out. We thank you that we, we serve a God that is never too busy to hear our request. We thank you and love you. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. It's time now for our tithes and offerings. Our, um, the undesignated offering will be going to the Northern California Multicultural Ministries. Here in Northern California, we're blessed by a lot of diversity. And our Adventist congregations reflect our state's rich variety of ethnicities, languages, and cultures. Uh, today's offering is going to be split three ways uh, among our Northern California Conference. Um, African ministries, um, excuse me, African American ministries, Asian, Pacific, and Hispanic. Um, our offering is going to go to help that these ministries thrive in our territory and prepare people for the second coming of Christ. Will the deacons please stand for prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you so much for all the many blessings that you've given us. Thank you for this opportunity we have to give back to you. Please help this money to go to further your work. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
looked and I heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousands times ten thousands. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne, to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped.
Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Thank you for bringing the children here. It's always a joy to have them come and worship and participate in the service. That is what Hilltop Music Department do, does do. Anyway, um, the treble choir is usually 24, and as expected, we don't have all of them today. And so those parents that bring their children here, I am really, really very, very grateful for that. And we are just very proud of these kids. So thank you for bringing them here today. Isaiah writes in chapter 30, verse 29, You shall have a song as in the night when a holy festival is kept, and gladness of heart as when one goes with a flute to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel.
Oh, come let us worship. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms.
He indeed was ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for you.
Psalms 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Mrs. Walker, would you join us up here for a moment? I don't see you, but I, there you are. <laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> the Antioch Seventh Day Adventist Church just want to give you a little parting gift. We just want to thank you so much for your 43 years yes. in the ministry. Yes, you are a teacher too. Yes. But as we know and we love the fact that our teachers are also in the ministry of our church. And we just want to thank you so much for that ministry because what a blessing it has been to have you here with us. And I just know that I was talking to your husband just briefly on the way over and I asked him, are you looking forward to this retirement? And he didn't hesitate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So we thank you so much and thank you for the number of years you served right here at Hilltop Christian School. So thank God you. bless you. Thank you. I just pray that you pray for me that I will not get bored. It's all I've done. And it's just been a blessing to be at the school. 
I've taught, I see so many children that I've taught, and I'm just so thankful that I've been able to have this journey with them. My dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless.
let's pray. And now, Lord, we ask for your spirit to lead our hearts and minds into a greater understanding of your love. And we ask now that we can go out in peace. Thy holy and precious name. Amen. Amen.